this is my favorite part always, to be able to talk to the students. I get to channel my inner Phil Donahue here. Uh, <laughs> I'm dating myself by saying that. <laughs> It's uh, so good to have you here. Thank you for coming. I hope you had a good dinner. Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, tell us, please, why did you choose to come to Donnelly College? Well, I personally thank the staff for me actually choosing Donnelly. I had been doing research on other schools, and when I came to visit Donnelly, I was sold. As soon as I walked in, everybody from the Welcome Center, people in the hallway, they were like, hi, how you doing? Welcome, nice to have you here. And I was just like, whoa, because I've been in universities and something, they just look at you until you go up to them and say something. And um, I had a problem kind of make a decision. And so I didn't come to like the first orientation and they called me and they emailed me like, hey, how you doing, are you okay? We noticed you didn't come and I'm like, wow, they actually care. And so I was kind of late coming and I know um, Darius from the admissions, he was like, well, don't be discouraged. It's okay, it's not too late, school haven't started. He's like, just bring in your paper, we'll talk to him. And then he had got me hooked up with a man named Jordan, um, the counselor, and he was like, oh, we're gonna make sure you get in. Just keep coming, keep on keeping on. And ever since then, I'm like, yeah, I'm going there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor. I'm really nervous. It's um, okay, Stephanie. You're fine. So mine's kind of a little bit different. Um, my sister went to college but dropped out. Um, so it was really hard financially because I have uh, a kid. I was pregnant when I was 16. So um, finding that school that is right for you is really hard. Um, so when... I was awarded a block scholarship. I was like, wow, this is, is this real? Is this really real? And um, when I went to block orientation, they walked in and knew me. I didn't know anybody. I, I was new. It was my first time stepping into this building. And, oh, here's Stephanie. Okay, let's direct you to this way. And I was like, what? Why does she know my name? And then everybody else knew my name. So I was like, this just feels like home. This, this, is, this is where you want to be. And um, I started going to class and really enjoyed it. Um, the teachers are really one on one, and how are we? How are we going to work together to achieve your goals? And what are your goals? Not just what goals do you have, or just simple goals. What is, What is the measures? What are you going to do to to make your goals better? And um, I think that was a push I needed. I need I needed to see what really are my goals and what are behind my goals. So, thanks to Donnelly, I'm kind of trying to see where I'm going, but that's why I chose Donnelly. Thanks, Stephanie. The reason why I decided to, to stay in Donnelly College is, uh, first of all, um, was one of the, of the only doors that was open for me after I was knocking a lot of doors around, uh, uh, around the area, uh, honestly. And uh, Donnelly College just showed me that there's always a hope, that there's always someone that's willing to open the door of education for you, uh, you know. And uh, in a very uh, and it was affordable for me too, and like like my my partners here are having saying once you get to Donnelly everybody's smiling and hey they know your name they they know you like okay I'm famous here <laughs> that's the, which is really 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 an, a nice a nice place to be they make you feel like home they they make you feel like you're part of their family so. Yeah, that's pretty much why I decided to stay at Donnelly College, and I wouldn't be anywhere else. <laughs> well, my reason for coming to Donnelly College um, is, one, most importantly, my kids, uh, because I want to be a good father to them, and I want to be a good role model. And I can't very well preach to them about going to higher education unless I pave the way and show them how it's done. And uh, also brings me to Donnelly College is throughout my education system I'm learning disabled and I have a bipolar and it was really hard for me throughout my education K through 12. Um, really damaging 
And so I wanted a higher education. I just didn't really know where to turn. I've looked around at other schools, not knocking any other schools. They're all great. But none of them gave me what Donnelly College uh, showed me. Uh, even whenever I thought maybe it would be too much for me and I couldn't handle it, I actually had a professor call me and reassure me that I'm more than capable of uh, reaching my dreams and my goals. Um, out of all the places that I've been, no place has shown me what Donnelly College has shown me. And that's the truth. It's a good place. Thank you, Daniel. Now, if I can, I'm going to just go in reverse order. If you can tell us, how is Donnelly helping you uh, reach your dreams? What are your dreams, and how is Donnelly helping you reach your dreams? They're giving me the courage. They're giving me the strength. They're, uh, they're giving me the classes that I need. They're showing me, of course, how to manage my time, how to manage myself for studying. They're, they're basically giving me all the tools that I need to reach my goals. It's, it's a great place. Diego. Well, um, Donnelly has helped me in a lot of ways. Uh, I'm in forever debt with Donnelly College. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm working on my bachelor's degree uh, in information systems, and Donnelly has gave me the opportunity to work as an intern in the, in the IT department, and I'm, I'm really grateful for, for that opportunity. Um, and really, really looking forward to get back to the community and keep helping um, this organization to get back to other students like me. I'm, appreci I'm appreciating because he's always fixing what I break on my computer, so. Um, if I wasn't at Don, oh, if I hadn't attended Donnelly or would be attending Donnelly, um, I don't think I would be in college. Um, Thanks to Sydney, um, I met some great people, uh, Mark and Megan Murphy. Uh, they kind of helped me out and fund some stuff that has made it possible for me to attend class every day. So, thank you guys. Thank you. Um, thank you. Downley has not only made it possible for me to go to school financially, but I'm the first one in my family to ever really consider school, um, where I come from. They really don't talk about anything past high school. Most of the people in my area don't even graduate high school. And then, like she said, having a baby um, in high school, a lot of people just put me in statistics for everybody else, like you're never gonna make it, um, you're gonna be like everybody else. And when I did have my daughter, she was diagnosed with a seizure disorder and a kidney reflex disease. And so that is another blow, you know, it makes you like, oh, well, you know, school's on the back burner, you know, I can't do that. But looking, coming to Donnelly and the staff and the teachers, they help push you to keep going forward. Um, I have a, one of my professors is Father John, who's also the vice president of Donnelly College. And when I found that out, I was kind of nervous. I'm like, oh, I got a vice president as one of my instructors. But when I go to class every day, he might not know it because I haven't told him, but he gives me the strength to keep coming every day because it's hard between doctor's appointments and trying to work and take care of my kid. But he's always, he always prays before a class. And I'm like, oh my God, he doesn't know that I need this. Like, I don't get that somewhere else. And when I come to class, not only am I looking forward to the lecture that we're gonna get, I'm looking forward to that prayer because I feel like it helps me get not only through my day with the school, but in my outside life too. And I feel like coming to Donnelly, it not only helps me grow academically, but spiritually too. And I'm thankful for that, Donnelly. Thank you, Thank you. Thanks. I'm, I'm gonna put you on the spot a little bit here. Um, if all four of you can, in a word or a phrase, sum up what uh, you think about Donnelly. My word would have to be family. Hope. There's hope at Donnelly. Um, I will say home. Uh, from, uh, Donnelly is like a second home for me. I would have to say family as well. Thank you so much. 
Let's give a big round of applause for these four students. I, I do want to thank you for the bravery. It's hard to come up in front of uh, 600 people and uh, give this witness. I want to thank you as parents for your witness to life. I want to thank you as students for your commitment and hard work. And as long as Donnelly is here, we're here to serve you. So thank you very much. <laughs>